Hello, Hampshire College, and to those who celebrate Shana Tova, it is now year 5781 on the Jewish calendar. Let's hope it's better than the last. After months of quarantine, it's good to be on campus, but as you all feel, things are still very pretty weird at the moment, so we are not going to do our live stream in the traditional, the traditional way that we do. Uh, but we will be dishing out some content at our own pace, so check the Infinity Productions YouTube channel to stay updated. And if you have any content skills or opinions that you want to share, we would love to provide a platform for that sort of thing. Without further ado, the Infinity News. In today's news, in efforts to provide sustenance to students, the college has converted the Prescott Tavern into a mini mart and grill. But with the grill not being very functional right now, we reached out to students to get a comment. Here is our report. Um, I had difficulty the first time I went um, figuring out like what the line was just because there were a lot of people who were standing around outside um, and I wasn't sure if that was the line or not but it was actually just people who were waiting for their food so it took like a long time for me to get inside because I wasn't sure like what the protocol was. So how do you guys feel about the grill not being for a functional? Dude I'm upset. I'm upset because then I can't like get hot food uh, unless I want to go to Saga and the food there ain't great and it makes it that uh, because it's not open on the weekends you can't get hot food at all and that shit sucks I love the tavern I'm really glad that it's open this year um, I hope that the grill opens up soon because I uh, I'm trying to make the best of what I what I got so far but I definitely miss the, the old tavern and all the options they have so yeah. In other news, President Lingenbach sent out an email the other day regarding recent usage of the graffiti wall. Ed says, quote, while acknowledging that this is an area of student autonomy over which the administration should not impose regulations, he wants to express his hope that students will choose to leave the statement in place while actively working to negotiate the status of this collective space. Here, the statement Ed is referring to is Black Lives Matter. Over the summer, a group of students painted a Black Lives Matter mural onto the graffiti wall. It has stayed in place until relatively recently when two students painted It's okay to love Israel and the Israeli flag over part of the wall. Soon afterwards, uh, another group of students painted over that message with uh, No, the bleep it's not and Free Palestine. Although the story is still developing, we have reached out to uh, multiple parties and are awaiting a response. The Wellness Center is continuing its safer sex delivery program. Students can fill out their confidential form online and have the supplies delivered to them in their mailbox. Students can also pick up supplies from the RCC first floor near the entrance desk from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And now for a little entertainment. This is a comedic sketch filmed by me and my friends last spring about the Hampshire funding crisis. Warning for crude sexual humor. Enjoy! Welcome to Hampshire College, a small liberal arts school with a real independent streak and a radical self-determined curriculum. Students love it here, but there's one problem. They're strapped for cash. Instead of closing Hampshire College, which for the record was never on the table, we're doing what Hampshire students are known for, creating innovative solutions and alternative methods to raising funds. So, in classic Hampshire fashion, the students have rallied, and it looks like they have set up some sort of donation hotline calling the alumni. So, tell me, what kind of things turn you on? Uh, ooh, cookies, huh? Would you like to see a cookie on my nipples? You know, who'd like, eat, like to eat them off of me? Welcome to Whispers of Hampshire, the Pioneer Valley's number one phone sex line. This is Crystal speaking. Oh, I'm, I'm happy to help. Um, that's why when <laughs> proposed the idea to the board, I was just like, of course, immediately. You may want to frame the shot against that there. Um, th what camera is this? Uh, one of the 4K Panasonics? Uh, it's not 4K, it's just an HD camcorder. Uh, that's okay, uh, some of my best, um, some, I mean, some of the best uh, documentaries do, uh, were, were made do with low budget, so I would imagine, uh, what was the question again? Uh, what made you propose?
propose a phone sex line? Uh, right. Well, I thought to myself, uh, what always sells? Sex. That and along historical documentaries, but that's a separate project. What sexual fantasy would make you feel safe and empowered? I'm afraid we can't do that. You see, the boss secretary fantasy, it's just, it reproduces misogynist, chauvinist, capitalist dynamics, and in the words of renowned film theorist and feminist activist Susan Sontag, rules of taste and force structures of power. Well, perhaps we could just uh, start by engaging a few important questions. What was your first memory of your mother? Hello students, can I have your attention for a second? Thank you. I just first want to say I'm so grateful and appreciate all the time and dedication you've given to us helping fundraise for our school. But I have heard from our patrons that they would like more sexual gratification and maybe a little less political theorizing if you hear what I'm saying. Wait, how are we supposed to engage in sexual activity without first discussing the socio-political implications of it? I mean, we don't want to conform to the heteronormative implications of phone sex. I hear you. I completely understand. But at the end of the day, we're trying to fundraise to save our school. And this is a phone sex line, not a Marxist hotline. More sexy. More sexy. I know. Yes. Our bodies meld together as we partake in this spiritual activity of intercourse. We feel like we are transported back to the womb, our amniotic fluid melding, mixing. I feel as though we are one. As I hold my partner, I feel our atomites merging in the eternal Brahmin soup. I feel like a crystal butt plug is in my Alright, same shit as last time. You guys did uh, epic. Shit as last time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I really haven't done this in a while. Have a little pock pock. Can you make it? PP buttholes. Okay, we need to do it right now. I can't see it. We're just gonna clap. You can't. You can't lose it. You can't lose it, guys.